and welcome to this Florence update. We have to talk about the ongoing disaster right now that is uh, going on in this area of North Carolina. Uh, I want to update you on the power outages, wind gusts, and rainfall. Uh, this will be the second update of the night. I'm going to have another one later, probably around or after midnight uh, as we follow this storm. Uh, there are going to be a lot of updates because we're watching this storm play out and I actually have a better uh, radar now for you to look at this is from the IntelliCast site and uh, look at that look at that um, uh, this storm here it, it, look at how slow it's moving first of all it's almost stalled out it's barely moving to the west uh, and these areas here like Moorhead City are just getting lashed with the rain bands. Wilmington, not yet. The, la the worst is coming for Wilmington later. It's probably going to start getting much worse around Wilmington in a couple of hours. But but for now, it's Moorhead City, this whole area around Moorhead City, uh, that is just getting lashed. And Moorhead City is already in a complete blackout right now. Uh, we're looking at the uh, power outage map from Duke Energy. And if we go and look at Moorhead City, and I click on it, you will see that to uh, custom pretty much a complete blackout to 24,678 customers are out uh, out of uh, 25,301 so a complete uh, power outage in 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 this area here complete blackout and in this area here uh, we have most people out or at least half the people out here 8,627 are out in Craven County uh, and Onslow County uh, not as many and so basically where the red is is where it's a complete blackout where the yellow is 50 percent uh, of people are out uh, and right now this whole area does not have uh, is not being affected too badly by uh, power outages but this area again Moorhead City is in a complete blackout uh, and uh, that's what's going on right there so Moorhead City is completely out alright so let's go to the weather service and take a look at the, the the latest wind gust numbers here out of the Moorhead City. They do not have a, a report from rainfall yet. And I, I heard on the news already that a location in North Carolina has already received a foot of rain already. A foot of rain already. So two feet of rain will be a certainty. Could be more like three feet. We could see even some places get up to 50 inches of rain, which is really incredible. There's going to be terrible flooding from this. So taking a look at the wind gusts, we already have some pretty bad wind gusts here. I'm going to make this larger so you can see uh, what the wind gust numbers are uh, and um, there's some pretty uh, bad wind gusts. So 105 uh, uh, miles per hour at Fort Macon in Carteret County uh, and 97 at Cape Lookout uh, in Dare County a 74 mile a wind gust at Avon uh, and in Onslow County a 72 mile wind gust at one mile south southeast of Sneed's Ferry, but uh, by far the largest wind gust here is at this maritime station at a buoy, 112 miles per hour. That is a very high wind gust. Uh, this thing definitely is going to hold on to its strength. It's not weakening, uh, and it's going to it's going to get a lot worse for them. It's really going to be bad. Uh, the other thing we want to look at here are some observations. So we'll look at Moorhead City if there is an observation. Nope, not available. So apparently their ability to send observations out of Moorhead City has been lost with the power or their data connection went down. You already see a rainfall of 1.81. Uh, the winds, uh, yeah, the last report had a wind gusting to 60. Uh, but again, they have a complete blackout there. So w Moorhead City, hopefully nobody is in Moorhead City right now because they are just getting hammered by this rain band. So that is now out. That station is now out. Let's see uh, if we can pick up another station. New, that's also out. Uh, New Bern County. So they are also out as well. Um, so again, I guess they don't have backup power at these airports, which is unfortunate because now we can't seem to get observations out of them. Let's see if this one or if this one is working here. Uh, MCA, yes, New River, 78, 78 is the temperature, the dew point 75, uh, but the, it's all about that wind, northeast at 38, gusting to 64, and let's see what the rainfall was. We already have 0.88 over there uh, at that observation station. Um, now, I don't know where all the observation stations are around here, so Hatteras, Mitchell Field, um, look at that 80 with a dew point of 78, really tropical air. 
East wind at 36, gusting to 54. Let's see what the rainfall is there, if we can get that. Already three inches of rain already. So I, I know there was a report I heard on the news. I can't seem to get it from the Weather Service office. Um, uh, but uh, actually, this Weather Fork Service office is in Newport and Moorhead City, this office is, so I don't know, we may not be able to get reach this office eventually, because uh, Moorhead City is going to get cut off. Uh, northeast 21, so once we go further n uh, north, the winds aren't as bad, and neither is the rainfall, uh, but again, it seems like this Moorhead City area is just getting hammered right now. Um, we can go a little further south, let's take a look at Wilmington, uh, let's see what the conditions are at Wilmington, we are waiting. Obviously, it, these sites are going to be slow due to various issues related to the storm. So uh, we're just going to have to wait. If we can't get an observation on Wilmington, we'll have to wait on that. But let's try. Let's try one more time. All right, 76 uh, northeast wind, 32 gusting to 52. So the winds aren't too bad yet. They haven't had too much rain, uh, but it's, things are going to get a lot worse there for them. Uh, and uh, we'll go back up to Moorhead City, and I want to look at the marine. Uh, usually you can find a uh, list of the marine observations and they do not have one so uh, I'm curious about the buoys that's what I'm curious about but I guess they don't have a link to that um, this is their briefing uh, which we can look over but this is gonna be uh, alright this is gonna be their briefing so main points these are the points that they have here I'll go over this will be the last part of the video we got wind impacts Storm surge, uh, catastrophic impacts from flooding rain, tornadoes are possible, and dangerous maritime surf conditions uh, uh, developing. Uh, and these are the summary of greatest impacts, all in the extreme category. Here's the hurricane warning, warning for this area. Um, this is uh, the situational overview, um, and uh, this is the storm surge threat. So uh, this area here is going to really get uh, extreme storm surge. Moorhead City is probably going to be flooded uh, and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see where the weather service office is there. We're going to have to take a look at that. And storm surge, wind threat, um, maximum sustained winds, wind gusts, uh, flooding rain threat, rainfall of 20 to 30 and locally up to 40 are possible. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, we're going to see some spots get 40 inches of rain which is insane. Here's the rainfall forecast. Um, catastrophic river flooding uh, because of again all that rainfall it's going to be very bad. Uh, so uh, what I want to do next is uh, because we can't seem to get I was hoping to get some marine observations here um, about this and we have the tornado watch to an effect uh, next briefing. So we're going to actually have to figure out where this weather service office is because I think that they themselves may be vulnerable to problems. Uh, so um, I'd like to see observations. Let's see. Well, they do have an observations map. Let's see. We're going to load the weather viewer and see if we can get some more observations from this uh, before I show you the Moorhead City area. And of course it just zooms out. We don't want to do that. We want to get close to this area here. So let's... Uh, all right, here we go. We're looking for Moorhead City, Wilmington. All right, here we go. So here's some observations here. All right, Hatteras Mitchell Field on Cape Hatteras, east 37, gusting to 55, peak wind 60 miles per hour, and it does not show the rainfall. But we're actually, I'm more curious about the marine. All right, the marine observations. So let's see. Uh, southeast at 58, gusting to 72. I really like to see those wave numbers. Those waves have to be just really high over here in this spot in particular. So let's actually click this and let's see. I think we get it show all variables. So let's see. Uh, wind direction, wind gust value. All right, doesn't really doesn't really uh, show uh, the waves. That's what I want to see the waves. Uh, wave height. All right, wave height is not being taken. So wave height is being missing. All right, we have a 4.27 wave height. Uh, but that's all the information I can get. They're like, they not making it easy to get information. Uh, but uh, that is what is going on. Of course, I'm sure the waves will be huge. 
uh, offshore. But again, there's uh, very little information coming out of Moorhead City, probably because the office has already has a power outage and is dealing with problems. All right, so let's now take a look at uh, what this area is. Uh, now, the weather service is over here, and this is Moorhead City. Uh, and if we take a look, we'll just go to this, and we'll show you the areas that are being impacted right now. Uh, Moorhead City, not a huge area, um, but uh, I'll show it. Well, this is uh, basically what Moorhead City looks like. So it looks like it is. It looks like a little, you know, little town along the shore. Uh, probably uh, not many power lines going in and going out. Uh, let's take a look and see where the weather service. So the weather service is over here. Uh, it's a little more inland, so I'll show you the area here on the street view. And it's a, actually a beautiful area. There's actually a lot of pines here. Uh, uh, some of these, might, a lot of these are probably going to come down in the storm. Uh, these aren't pitch pines, but uh, I think they're longleaf. I think they're longleaf. Longleaf a loblolly. But anyway, yeah, the um, the weather service is in there. There's a tra there's a transmitter. You got above ground power lines, no doubt, coming down net right now if they haven't already. Uh, and then this is US 70, so this would be the main road in and out of Moorhead City. Um, uh, and hopefully nobody is driving down it right now because, uh, again, the conditions in this area are very bad. Uh, so you actually have a town called Wildwood. Um, it looks like there is a right of power right away, right over here. So, so I mean, this would be where the power comes in. But again, they have a complete blackout. So I'm. So, this this transmission line here probably came down. Yeah, this transmission line right here probably came down, or a tree came down on it. But this is the transmission line right here that would be serving Moorhead City. So this probably went down. That's why almost all the power is out in Moorhead City. Um, so uh, Moorhead City would be right over here. So it would be, uh, let's see where the substation is, because that substation could be in a low-lying area too, which would result in a blackout as well. Um, not really going to get into the specifics of it. Um, just want to show you the areas that are right now being affected. Um, it's definitely a, be a pretty area, and it's a shame to see that this is happening. So this is Moorhead City here. There's railroad tracks that go through it. Um, doesn't look like much of a town here. It looked like there would be a town on the on the um, on the on this, but yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of a town here. So at least maybe it doesn't look like it's too heavily populated area. And hopefully nobody is here. Hopefully everybody has left because this area is going to go underwater for sure. Um, so uh, yeah, this is what's going on in this area here. So uh, yeah, this would be the airport that went out. So again, complete blackout in this area. And uh, it's going to be hard to get information out of this area. And then eventually it will also start affecting Wilmington as well, which is down here. Um, and uh, Wilmington looks like it's a much more heavily populated area, so it's going to be going through a lot more. Uh, lot, hopefully no, nobody is there. Hopefully people evacuated and then aren't hanging out in this area right now, because this is not an area you want to be at all. Uh, so that will be con that'll be the end of this video on this update for uh, Hurricane Florence. Again, let's pray for the people in this area. They are going through a rough time right now, and it's going to be a really hard thing to deal with because this storm is going to take its sweet time torturing and destroying, uh, you know. But uh, just hopefully people are, are not here. Hopefully they've evacuated to safe places. Uh, and for the people that are here, uh, you know, they have to be here, like the people at the Weather Service. Just stay safe. All right. Thank you for watching.